On this episode of Social Tech Battlefield, we're going to be taking a look at the top cell phone OSs out there on the market and see which one can come out on top. So we're just going to start the show. Hey, what's up, guys? I am your host, Mark Watson, and this is another episode of Soldiers Tech Battlefield. Now, in this show, we normally take two products and put them against each other and see which one comes out on top. On this episode, though, I'm going to be taking a look at the top cell phone OSs on the market right now and give you my favorites in a list from four to one. And we'll see which one of the OSs come out on top. I'm going to be talking about iOS, going to be talking about the BlackBerry 10 OS, going to be talking about Android, and also going to be talking about Windows Phone. And so, just going to get things started with my number four pick, and the number four pick is going to go to Windows Phone. Now Microsoft over the past couple of years has definitely done a really good job at trying to separate itself from the rest of the pack as far as how the OS runs and it looks. And you can definitely tell by the home screen which has this live tile interface where the tiles are different shapes and sizes so it doesn't look like a traditional cell phone OS. Uh, but some of them also have information so you'll see them move. So if you're looking at a, a CNN application or another application like that, it may have information kind of scrolling through the tile. So you don't actually need to tap into it. So it's basically like combination between an, an icon and a widget. But besides that, it's really not that much that Windows Phone offers from its competitors. I mean, it definitely has the least amount of applications to select from from all the different OS it's going to be talking about today. And it absolutely has really no customization besides changing the color um, of, of the home screen and things like that. And so because of these shortcomings, this is why I put Windows Phone at number four. And now on to my number three pick, and this OS is relatively new to the game. It's the latest to actually be released as a fresh update, and this is BlackBerry 10. Now, BlackBerry 10 aims to bring a fresh face to an oldie but goodie, and I think it did a pretty good job with that. The way you navigate and using BlackBerry Flow, just swiping up from the bottom, and you can see your notifications if you swipe over to the right, and things like that, and all the different transitions look very nice and shiny with this new BlackBerry 10. And this OS does have the absolute best virtual keyboard that I've ever used. Now, as far as applications you can access apps in the BlackBerry world but you can also download Android apps using BlackBerry 10 by side loading them so this adds a ton a ton of new applications at your disposal. And when it comes to stock applications one application that does disappoint me is maps and that's something that you use a lot on a normal basis and the maps application is pretty bare bones and doesn't really have a lot of features and it just really doesn't look that appealing at all. And then also voice assistant technology is basically missing from BlackBerry 10. It has a voice control which will allow you to open up applications and to, to send a BBM or a text message just by talking to your phone. But if you're looking for any useful information or something really to assist you in normal things, um, as far as asking the questions and things like that, it's definitely lacking from BlackBerry 10. But those things are really kind of minor with this OS, but for the most part, BlackBerry 10 is a solid OS. It's going to be great for personal and corporate uses. So this is the BlackBerry 10 OS and it's coming in at number three. So now we're down to the last two OS's here in this countdown. It's coming down between iOS and Android. Surprise, surprise, I know. But I'm going to keep things moving here and then show you my number two pick. And my number two pick is going to be iOS. Now, iOS over the past few years has definitely had a nice little run, but for the past couple of years or so, um, it's definitely been a little stale and hasn't really had, you know, it hasn't really been taking a lot of chances. And you see that just by normal use, it's kind of, again, a lot of the same things, especially if you've been using the first generation iPhone. Not much has really changed as far as the look of iOS, but iOS still has some really good things going for the course, like AirPlay, which is still probably the best in the industry to be able to widely stream movies or, or video or an audio content to your TV or to another device. Um, that's compatible with it and also too it has absolutely the best selection of third-party applications and you're going to get all the best apps here first on iOS. Now when you combine iOS's easy to use plus its wide selection of third-party accessories to go along with it, you have the phone that's going to be great for everybody and most people of all ages. You really don't have to show somebody how to use the iPhone. They'll be able to pick it up, learn how to use it, and take advantage of it the best they can. And so that is iOS and again that comes in in my number two spot. But my number one spot goes to the OS that has definitely been on fire lately and that is Android. Now, Android gets a lot of updates throughout the year which is definitely a good thing as long as your device can get that update. Uh, but it it easily has the most customization options out of the box than any other OS in this debate. And you add the fact that the Google Play Store is growing in applications, plus Android has the willingness to definitely try new things and add features in the OS, and it's not worried about alienating its users and things like that that we, we're seeing as a problem in iOS. Uh, you see Android as an OS is very flexible, and because manufacturers can add their own twists by adding different skins, and we're seeing Facebook doing the whole Facebook Home thing, which is pretty cool, uh, you can definitely get a fresh version or a, a fresh feeling of Android uh, as you move from device to device, and I think that's really good because it helps in competition. 
And so it's really not that many bad things I can say about Android. Besides, again, I do think there is fragmentation. Uh, you may have a new device. You may not be able to get the new software update that comes two months after you got that device. Uh, for some odd reason, the manufacturers are very slow in that. So I do believe there's fragmentation. But other than that, Android is a solid OS that is easily the number one OS in my book. So anyway, guys, this brings it into my list of my favorite top cell phone OSs at the moment. I know some of you may disagree with my list, and I want you to leave a comment down below. But what are, what are your top four cell phone OSs in any any order that you choose leave that comment down below guys and i will see you next week with another episode of soldier tech battlefield catch you later peace Hey, what's up, guys? I just want to give you a quick heads up that Soldiers Tech Battlefield is going to be moving from Saturdays to Tuesdays. So normally our episodes air on every single Saturday. Now from April 23rd, we're going to be starting on Tuesdays. Again, on April 23rd, Soldiers Tech Battlefield will be starting to air on Tuesdays.